So what is going on guys, in today's video we are going to be going over the top 5 best clothing glitches in GTA 5 Online. All of these glitches are still working after the patch of 1.66 and are going to be super easy and simple to do. But before we get into that, if you would like to enter our 13,000 subscriber shot card giveaway, then all you gotta do is drop a like, subscribe to the channel and then comment the giveaway down below and you'll be entered right into that. Anyway, without wasting any more time, let's just get into the video. Are you guys looking for cheap, fast and reliable GTA 5 services? Then go ahead and check out JG Gaming. They offer GTA 5 money and rank boost for your current account, or you can get a ready-made modded account that comes with a ton of cash and RP. Whether you are on Xbox, PlayStation or PC, they provide services for all platforms. They have great prices and over 1,400 five-star reviews on their Trustpilot page. I'll leave their link in the description and pinned comment for if you want to check them out. Also, if you do want an extra 10% off, then do be sure to use our discount code AVAID at checkout. Right guys, so for the first glitch of the video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the night vision goggles. So first up, what you want to do is head on over to any ammunition store. You then want to head on over to the gear section and equip the night vision mask. Once you've done this, you want to go into the interaction menu, uh, style and change your appearance. This will cost you 100k. Once you've loaded in, you want to go down to apparel and then go to hats and you want to scroll through until you can see the night vision goggles. So yeah, you can just go ahead and choose any hat, I've chosen this blue one here. Then you want to go ahead and save your character and you'll load into a brand new session. Once you've loaded in, you won't have the goggles, so you want to go ahead and register as a CEO. Then you want to go into management, style, flick one to the right, one to the left, and as you can see, you will have the goggles on. Then you want to go ahead and save the outfit. And once you save, if you go ahead and hover over any other outfits, as you can see, the goggles will be on them. So yeah, then you can go ahead and select any outfit you want, and you will have the night vision goggles. Anyway, that's it for this glitch, on to the next one. Alright, so for the second clothing glitch of today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get a galaxy tilt. So to start, you're going to come over to any clothing store, and then you're going to want to equip the outfit that you don't want to lose, and then you're going to want to delete all of your saved outfits, as this is going to be the transfer glitch. Now, once you have deleted all of your outfits, now just open up your pause menu, go to online, and choose swap character. From here, you should see your main character on the left, and you should have a new open slot on the right. You just want to select the character on the right. Then just make sure the gender is set to female, then just save and continue, call it whatever you want and load into an online session. Once we're in, now just open up your pause menu, go to the map and make sure you can see the clothing stores. So if you can't, all you want to do is just find a new invite only session. But yeah, once we are at the clothing store, now just come over to the accessory section and you're going to take all of the accessories off. So make sure you have no accessories equipped. Now come over to the pants section, head into the sport pants and you'll look up the first one which is the spotted muscle pants. Then from here just come over to the shoes. Then come down to the motorcycle boots and you'll look up the worn ox blood slack boots which is number 20. Then come into the top section, go to the leather bomber jackets. And you're going to click number 5, which is the Color Geo SN Leather Closed. And now finally, come over to the accessory section again, head into the gloves, and you're going to equip the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves, which is number 12. Now you can just come over to the front desk and save this into slot number 2. And once it's all saved now, just come back over to the shoe section, 
Go back into the motorcycle boots and you'll equip the Ox Blood Slack Boots, which is number 23. Yeah, equip these. Then come over to the top section, head into the work jackets. And you're going to want to equip the Peach Camo Close Field, which is number 38. So this one right here, just equip it. Then stay in the top section, head down to the Tuck T-shirts. And you're going to want to equip the Blue Digital Roll T, which is number 57. And now we can go and save this outfit into slot number 3, and they are both of the outfits made. So make sure both of them have saved. And now from here you can now just open up the interaction menu and take it the easy way out. Once you spawn back in now just open up your pause menu, go to online and start up creator. From here select create a race then select tutorial and accept this alert. And now you can just open up your pause menu, go to online and choose, what? choose character. Now on this character screen you just want to delete the female character we were just making the outfits on. So the character on the right just delete it. And then once you have done that now you can simply just hit B or circle to go back to story mode. If you are on next gen I'll leave a video in the description on how you can get a workaround for this. But yeah, now once you're in story mode, now just open your pause menu, go to online and start up an invite only session. Then once we're in, now just come back into the clothing store. And now you can save that outfit they wanted to keep in slot number 20. And now come down to the outfits, go to the biker suits and you're going to want to equip the black biker suit which is this one right here. Then once you've done that you're also going to want to bookmark the job which will be linked in the description. So we have a link in the description, you're going to want to bookmark that. Then once you've bookmarked it now just open up your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, play job and come into bookmarked and go down to missions and you're going to start up it's a G thing. From here, just make sure the clothing is set to player saved outfits and then you can just confirm the settings, invite anyone and start up the job. Now on the screen you're going to want to scroll two to the right and then we're actually going to have the galaxy top. So now you just want to hit ready to play. And now we're going to spawn inside of the mission and still have the galaxy top. So now you just want to head over to your apartment. Now it isn't going to show up on the map so you do need to remember where it is. But yeah just come inside of your apartment. And now you're going to want to head down the stairs and head over to your wardrobe. And now you can simply just save this outfit in any slot. And then you can simply just leave the job through your phone. And then once we come back in now you can just equip the outfit that we just saved and there you go. You now have the galaxy top but you also get these cool pants and also the Tron shoes with it as well which is pretty cool. And then if you wait a few seconds the arms are going to fix, they're not going to be glitchy anymore. And you now have this really really cool outfit with the galaxy top. But yeah, that's it for this clothing glitch, but anyway, let's get on to the next one. Right, next up, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the glitched, modded, well, flip-flops from the scuba diver gear. So yeah, first up, of course, you want to head on over to any clothing store. Once here, you want to scroll down until you find the scuba diver gear, and then you want to select any colour that you want. I'm going to just select the simple teal. Then you want to go on over to any body of water. So yeah, you want to jump in, then you want to go into the interaction menu, 
style and scroll down to walk style. You then want to hold right on your D-pad for about 20 seconds. Um, and then once you've done that, you want to go down one to illuminate clothing and you want to do the same thing again. And once you've done this, you want to go ahead and load into a brand new session. Once you load in, you'll have some glitched ass looking scuba suit, then you want to go ahead and save this in slot 1. And then, if you don't have one already, you want to go and purchase a bodysuit. And then you want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch, so run past it, spamming right on the d-pad. Um, and then you want to go ahead and equip your outfit, and as you can see, you will get your bodysuit mask to appear. Then you want to go into the clothing store, and I thought to record it, but you want to go ahead and equip the black tailcoat. And this is what will take the scuba gear off, leaving you with just the flip flops. Um, and yeah, you can't change the pants, unfortunately, but you can change the top. You can change your mask and you could just make a sick modded outfit. But yeah, I hope you guys find this useful and that's it for this glitch. Alright, so for this next clothing glitch, I'm going to show you how you can get invisible arms. So this is going to be the simplest method on how to get the invisible arms in GTA. So to start, you're going to come over to any clothing store, then come up to the front desk. Now come down to the Diamond Casino Heist Outfits, then go down to Refuse Collectors and you're going to equip the first one right here. Once you have equipped this, now you can just head over to the top section. Now come down to the Overcoat Blazers and you're going to equip No Top and there you go, it's as simple as that, you now have the invisible arms. And these are actually completely permanent as well, so you will never lose these. And now you can just go save the outfit and then you can also change the pants, shoes and make whatever you want with this outfit. Yeah, it's literally just like that, that took about 30 seconds and we now have the invisible arms. However, if you do not actually have these outfits unlocked, so the Diamond Casino Heist outfits, if you don't have them unlocked, I've made previous videos just like this on how you can get invisible arms without using this. But yeah, I just want to show you this really simple method. But anyway, let's get on to the final clothing glitch. Right guys, so next up I'm going to be showing you how you can get some cool modded alien pants. So what you want to do first up is go into the arena wall outfits, um, go down to space cyclops and you want to select any outfit that you like. So I quite like this one so I've gone for this. Um, then you want to go into the interaction menu, go to style and change appearance, this will cost you 100k. Once you've loaded onto this menu you want to go to apparel and change your crew t-shirt style. So I'm going to go for this one as it matches the bottoms. So yeah, you simply want to save your character and take a picture and it will load you into an online session. Then when you load in, as you will see, you will have these awesome looking space cyclops or alien like modded pants. But yeah, I hope you guys find this glitch useful. On to the next one. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video, so I hope you guys did enjoy. Do be sure to drop a like and subscribe, but anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.